exercise three ten. Free cash flow. Financial information for Powell Partner Corporation is shown here. You have an income statement for December 31. All the numbers are in terms of millions of dollars, and you have a balance sheet for the two periods, comparative balance sheet and the comparative income statement for Powell Partner Corporation. The first question is, what was networking capital for 2007 and 2008? So in part A, we need to calculate the networking capital for 2007 and networking capital for 2008. As you all know, working capital is current assets minus current liabilities, excluding not payable always, excluding not payable, even if you <coughs> see not payable in current liability section, you don't take into consideration not payable. So current assets, you have total current assets for 2007, you refer to the balance sheet, total current assets for 2007 is a 360 in terms of million, of course, minus, Current liabilities, excluding not payable. You can see here that not payable is already added to the liability section. You don't take it into consideration. What we are going to take is accounts payable in addition to accruals. So this would be 90 plus 60 in terms of current liabilities. Okay. And the answer would be 36 million minus 150 million that would be total million for 2008 it is the same rule current assets minus current liabilities excluding notes payable as in this exercise notes payable are added to the current liability side. So you go for 2008, refer to total current assets, 372 million, minus, again, we need to take only notes payable, account, sorry, accounts payable and accruals. So this would be 108 plus 72. So the answer would be 372 million minus 180 million and the answer is one eighty million the answer would be one ninety two million this is part A B, part B, what was 2008 free cash flow? As you know, free cash flow, FCF, is the amount of cash that a company can withdraw without harming the sustainability of the company. That means after the company has already paid all the investments and in plant assets, all the required uh, investments and payments, FCF represents the amount of cash that can be withdrawn of the company without harming its ability to stay in the business and to uh, compete in a marketplace. FCF, as you know, has a rule. So we have to calculate FCF for 2008. FCF can be equal to EBIT into 1 minus P e plus depreciation expense minus capital expenditures, which is known as CFI in current, in your cash flow statement, plus change in working capital. So, FCF again is EBIT into one minus tax rate plus depreciation expense minus 
capital expenditures, which is already the CFI side of the cash flow statement, plus the change in working capital. So let's refer to the income statement. So you have to refer for income statement accounts, you refer to income statement account, and for uh, balance sheet accounts, you refer to balance sheet account. Pay attention that we are solving for 2008, so you have to take income statements accounts for 2008 and don't take for 2007. EBIT is earning before interest and tax, it is the operating income. You have an account already named earning before interest and tax. For 2008, it is 150. So 150 million into one minus tax rate. It's also an income statement account. You look at taxes here. It's not the tax expense. Don't take 51.3. You have to take the rate. So it's one minus 0 0.4 plus Depreciation expense, it is the same account as depreciation and amortization. Also for 2008, it's 30 million minus the capital expenditure. How do you know the capital expenditure? The capital expenditure, it is the CFI side. It is the amount of inflow or, out, or outflow that uh, you realize from your uh, planned asset investment. It is related to your CFI, cash flow from investing. Cash flow from investing affects PPE accounts, fixed asset account, plan and equipment. You can see here you have net plant and equipment. I will calculate down capital expenditures. It is the change in PPE plus depreciation. It is the change in net PPE plus depreciation. It is the amount inflow or outflow you realize either from selling of your assets or from additional assets. So you look here, that plant and equipment, you started your 2008 by the ending of 2007, 250 million. At the end of 2008, we have 300 million dollars in plant and equipment. This is an additional of 50 million dollars. So the change would be 300 minus 250. It's $50 million. You add back the depreciation. You add back the depreciation, refer to 2008, it's $30 million. Then you have $80 million. This is the capital expenditure. Now, is it an outflow or an inflow? Because your plant and equipment increased from one year to another, you started by 250, you ended up with $30 million. It is an outflow. So this would be a negative this would be a negative capital expenditure and you have a negative outside a negative sign outside the bracket so you leave it 80 million it's 80 million as it is because now once you open the bracket the number will be minus 80 million minus 80 million means that it is an outflow how did we know it's an outflow there is an increase from your plant assets from year 2007 to year 2008 so minus 80 million plus the change in networking capital. The change in networking capital is year two minus year one working capital. So that would be networking capital 2008 minus networking capital 2007. That would be 192 minus 210. That would be negative. And that would be, of course, negative 18, 18 million, sorry, 18 million. So adding up minus capital expenditure, you have it 80 million plus the change in networking capital plus 18 million. Don't forget you have a negative sign outside and this would be negative 18 million. So when you calculate this, it would be equal to 150 into 0 0.6 plus 30 minus 80 million. Here, the outflow is realized. It is an outflow minus 80 million plus 18 million of networking capital. So the final answer would be 58 million.
goal. This is the amount of cash that you can withdraw without harming the sustainability of the company and after you paid all the required to stay sustainable in the business. Part C, how would you explain the large increase in 2008 dividends? If you look at the dividends, it's common dividends in the, in the income statement sheet, you have already paid 46.4 million dollars in 2008 you paid 60.5 so you have 60.5 million dollars paid as dividends for common stockholders to satisfy their uh, desirability in having higher returns the large amount of common dividends 60.5 can be referred to the large fcr when your FCF is large, that means you can pay. There is a lot of there is an amount of money that you can pay without harming the sustainability of the company. When FCF is very high, that means you can pay a large amount of cash without affecting negatively the company. So we will say that the distribution of high dividends in 2008, an amount of $60.5 million is due to the large amount in FCF for 2008. When your FCF is very low or is negative, you cannot, the company cannot pay dividends uh, to satisfy stockholders because that would mean that you cannot withdraw an amount of cash given your financial position. This is the end of the 10. Thank you very much.